Welcome to DIY Solar Homestead. I want to show you. I had better lighting that way. I'm making kindling. I don't have enough kindling ever. So, guess I'm going to put that camera back a little bit further. So, my wood is not completely dry. But if you want to go bushcraft or what have you, basic tools. You see those? I bought these. Nice little Rambo knife. Well, if that's what you want to call it. A nice little machete. But they're not the ones I used to use in the military. I didn't trust them. Or I didn't trust myself <laughs> to cut these down. I'm happy with the hatchet. To cut these down to little tiny pieces. So if you're going to go out bushcraft for a week, you don't know what the weather's going to be like. Or you have a scheduled event every single year with the boys, gals, what have you. Make kindling. Even out of the raw stuff. This, I took a piece off a board. Here's the board. Here's what's left of it. Still a good board. But yeah, I've been cutting this down with a good old, that's the sheath of the silky saw. I'm loving it. So, let's get it started. Whittle it down. You don't have to whittle it that far. Really, really. But if it was raining and you had a tarp, and the tarp had ringlets on it, you could tie that off. You throw with paracord onto some sticks. You throw that up in some branches. You tie your paracord off to your paracord, uh, your uh, to your tarp, all four corners. You can hoist it up at a 45. If that's what you want, so you got a drip edge, and if it's up high enough that the that the fire is not going to melt it, that's cool. At least when it's raining out, you can still build a fire. If you don't have a silky saw, <laughs> you want a silky saw. Now the other one is like this long, where it hinges. Then you can use both hands. I want to get one of those. Folds right up, goes in your rucksack, spins, goes in your backpack. <laughs> but yeah, this handy little hatchet comes, it's great around here for doing this stuff. So, I'm going to continue on. If you want to see all the different ideas as to how I'm growing my YouTube channel very, very fast. I was. I took six months off and it's still up there. But, uh, go to the playlist. And on that playlist, I have a whole bunch of social marketing and advertising skills that I have put on there. But I didn't like the way they had it. So you go to the playlist, then you click on all playlists, and then created playlists. And then you see all of them. Uh, so, grow your channel. That's the playlist that you want to go to. And if you watch just a part of one, ch one, one, one video, because you got that idea, and you want to use that idea on all of your videos to spice them up, start getting better views, and then continue that video and do it again and again. Well, if you want to make notes, here's three things you want to do per video. And I just started doing some new techniques. I got the TubeBuddy. If you want TubeBuddy for $9 a month, click my link and I'd appreciate it. I might make a couple dollars a month out of you. One, two dollars, three dollars, what have you. 
and that'll be good so I can continue buying cool stuff and showing you neat, neat things. So most of my wood is not dry, not seasoned. So I got to have fire starter. I got one more trick for you. You hadn't seen the other video not too long ago. I got fat wood. What that is, and I don't know if they make this by sulker wood, but this is supposed to be pine. Sappy pine. And when it all dries out, it still is extremely flammable. And the same thing just like all the other kindling. You don't have to waste it all. Come on, not in the light. Still take it down. It's pretty thick. And you can whittle it so you don't have to waste so much. So the first couple fires I built with this, I used like six regular pieces. I didn't need to. I whittle them down. I might use one piece now. I might have it whittled down to four or five six pieces. And then you put that in the fire and I tell you what, fat wood blazes like crazy. So if you put fat wood whittled down and you took that out you fill up a couple baggies, maybe a one gallon baggie if you're going out for a week and a two gallon baggie for this stuff, you're going to find other stuff out there but if it's raining you can depend on this and uh, fat would get the, the rat, this kindling going then you can throw your other sticks on there it should get going after that. I've only done oh I don't know maybe three good fires in the rain just to just to prove to myself that I could do it. <laughs> One of the days was in the infantry and it just poured crazy in Hawaii in the tropical weathers, but uh, and everyone bet I couldn't do it and I did. <laughs> but I didn't have fat wood or cheater wood, so I started out with, 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 with weeds and such, and then into the woods the little sticks and went from there and they were amazed that I could do that I don't know if I could do that nowadays because I got fat wood <laughs> but yeah the tips and tricks go to the playlist it's probably at the end of this video anyway a lot of there's probably going to be like three or four uh, tricks as to how to grow your YouTube channel very very fast so I threw two things in on this one video Cool, cool for you. All right, I'm out. Have a nice sunny day. Have a nice solar day. <laughs>